I want to talk about toxic co-workers and the things that they say. No one ever said that working with people was going to be easy, but when you have someone who is constantly undermining you or making your life difficult, it can really take its toll. That's why in this video, I'm going to give you five scenarios that you need to prepare for when you go to set boundaries with these people. Welcome to the channel, Leadership of Mike. On this channel, I help you become a more confident leader, and I do that with no nonsense sense, if that makes any sense. Now, I just watched a great video by fellow YouTuber, Kara Ronan. I'm going to link her video in the description, but ultimately, she shares five phrases that you can say to defend yourself against toxic co-workers and some of the toxic things that they may say. The phrases she shared are perfect, but I want to expand on them and I need to do it in my way. Two things I feel the need to discuss is one, the setting of boundaries and two, the preparation to defend them. So first, setting boundaries. When you do this, you will inevitably encounter pushback and it's going to come in one of five ways. You're going to get resistance when you when you first set boundaries, the other person is going to resist or ignore it. They may continue to do what they've always done or they may try to negotiate and or argue with you about it. They may also try guilt tripping. They may try to make you feel guilty or selfish for setting such a boundary. They may say things like I, I thought we were friends, I was only joking, or I can't believe you're talking to me like this. The toxic person may also use anger and frustration. If the other person is used to getting their way and saying rude things whenever they feel it's appropriate for them, they may become angry or frustrated when you set a boundary. They may lash out or they may try to intimidate you into changing your mind. They may also try to use passive aggressive behavior. The other person may try to get their message across in a more subtle way. They may use eye rolls or hugely sarcastic comments. And of course, testing. The other person may test your boundaries. They may see how firm they are. For example, if you set a boundary around not allowing toxic comments in the meeting, they may say the exact same comment in the next meeting just to see if you are serious. Now, this is where the rubber meets the road because we need to defend this house. No, wait, that's that's Under Armour. We need to defend our boundaries. There is a great quote by Mike Tyson and he says, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. And I cannot agree more. It's great to have your plan, but we need to realize that when reality hits us, we have to have a backup plan or we have to have enough oomph behind us to make sure we continue the good fight. Now, I'm assuming you're going to watch Kara's video linked in the description so that you know the five phrases that she has suggested to use. You've taken notes on how your toxic coworker may push back on these phrases. But what happens when they punch you in the face? Not literally, I hope. First, I want you to look yourself in the mirror. What is your demeanor? Meaning, are you up for this challenge? I'm not telling you to back down, I'm telling you to prepare. You tell this toxic coworker that you do not appreciate what they said. Now, they're putting you down, they're insulting you, or they're getting others to laugh at you, what's your plan? Are other people sick of this toxic person? Do not assume they've got your back. They may support you in theory, but they may cower in the corner when push comes to shove. So see who's with you prior to you setting these boundaries, but also be prepared to stand alone. Let me tell you a little story from back in the days when I was playing basketball in high school. At practice, in the team discussion, the team huddle, our team captain went off on the coach saying very mean and hurtful things. And I was shaking. I knew what the, per the team captain was saying was absolutely wrong. I knew that they had a very 
big mouth. That they were known as being the hothead. Known for putting people in their place verbally. They were very popular. Something came over me. Even though I was scared, I was shaking. I knew it was wrong. And I felt the need to stand up and defend the coach. Now, doing so, team captain and I shared some colorful words. And it got to the point where there was literally almost a fight, but coach stopped it. The team got behind us and like broke it up. And there was some awkward times in the next practice and the one after that. Eventually, you know, kids, we get over things. But that was a moment that I realized that I had a backbone. That was a moment that I realized that other people would back me when I was doing the right thing for the right reasons. Now, the thing is, this is my story. What's yours? I can't tell you how to deal with each individual toxic situation. All I can tell you is that Kara has some great statements to put into your memory. I can tell you that there will be pushback by somebody at some time and that you need to be ready for it. No one will fight your battles. Not HR, not management, not colleagues. At least not until you yourself are ready to fight them. Not until you yourself are ready to stand up. At that point, you will be amazed who comes to your corner, who are on the team, good guy, that's us. But until then, you're on your own. So you need to make the decision to set your boundaries and protect them. Now with that said, here's a video about staff undermining you, which is something that I'm sure will help you out. See you in the next one, ciao.